Hi everyone, of course you know my name, A-D-S, and this is Rob G's. Okay, alright, take it. <laughs> this is Monday morning, and uh, the topic I want to discuss is a very, very crucial one. And I want you to stay with me from the beginning to the end. Okay, let's go there. <laughs> with the way things are going now, I'm afraid we are heading for the rocks. And sooner or later, everything will crash before our very eyes. And we will never be able to redeem anything anymore. We are gradually drifting to that point. Oh yes. Before now, this used to be our dressing. Our fathers met our mothers looking like this and they fell in love with them. They raised beautiful children together. There is no debate about this. When I say indecent dressing, hmm, it is majorly on the side of the women. No doubt, they are the champions in what I'm talking about. This particular gender copy almost everything bad from the Western world, all in the name of looking good and sexy. The good ones amongst them are just few. Hmm? They are fewer than the bad eggs. See, eh? It all started from the devil's mini dress. I call it the devil's mini dress because this kind of dress can only be worn by daughters of destruction. What really is the motive behind wearing this kind of dress in public? As if that was not enough, they migrated to atomic bomb. The one they call bomb shots. <laughs> this gender again in their nakedness creativity came up with a reverse version of this bomb shot. This is what bomb shot looks like now. See for yourself. <laughs> is this being sexy or beautiful in any way? I'm asking. Just imagine. Meanwhile, bomb shot is meant to be worn indoors, though, not outside. But today, it is worn virtually everywhere so pathetic and the annoying part is that bombshell was made for people with beautiful skin devoid of any contour lines or maps <laughs> but those with stretch marks <laughs> with marks stretching from maraba to nyanya also wear this bomb shot very disgusting after using caro white and looking like potacot roasted plantain you still expose the rubbish for public view you know they pity us you know they shame from here, we now evolve to exposing River Niger and River Benue. See the photos for yourself. Photos don't lie, Abby. It is now massive cleavage exposure. In fact, all part of the breast is visible except for that small little spot housing the nipple. <laughs> to them, that part is the only part that deserves to be covered. My <laughs> God. Now, if you ain't exposing that breast, you ain't beautiful and you might never chill with the big boys. You wanna bump bump? Uh, you wanna chill with the big <laughs> Who said so? To better understand what I'm saying, eh? Check out this video. <laughs> hey, good afternoon! I'm going to trust you, please. Yes. I don't know if it's my right. Hey! Oh my God. Hey! Don't know! Officer, are you okay? Officer, get a grip. Get a grip. Hey, hey! You are going to Kazara Street? Officer, I said trust you. Hey! 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 You see how she ended up screwing up this guy? <laughs> this is absolute madness. It's not even... It's absolute madness. How did we get here? As though that was not enough, just follow me. Let me let me take you on this ride. We came to the era of ripped clothes. You understand? See, I see. When clothes were only ripped by the new, we had no problem with that. Then the daughters of Jezebel again <laughs> took it a step further. Now clothes are ripped off on the laps region and on the buttocks. See, see for yourself now. You know, bless Ali talk too much. See, see for yourself. Does this in any way make anyone beautiful? Does it? I'm asking. 
The one that annoys me the most when I see it is that of the tight underwear. The tight shirt that these people used to wear inside as underwear is now worn as the main clothes in public. Everything in that body will be projected outside as though the person ain't wearing anything at all. I feel like beating such people each time I see them. Check out your celebrities rocking these tights underwear in public. They are your celebrities. Check them out. You see them? Our celebrities and Nollywood ain't helping matters at all. Please, I want to ask. Was there ever a time the Igbo people dress like this? Look at your screen. Was there ever a time the Igbo people dress like this? If no, why is Nollywood propagating this kind of anomaly? And why are the Igbo elites not speaking up against this culture defamation? Nigerian celebrities are our biggest problem now. Quote me anywhere. They serve as role models to so many people without even knowing it. They were the ones that started body argumentation. Yes. Fix it off. They were the ones. Now, everybody think is the way forward. See them with the fake bum bum up and down. See for yourself. Just do. Yes, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's very easy for their followers to copy them. That's even the annoying part. I think the orientation I preach today have to start from Nollywood. That body alone have a lot of work to do to save our younger generation. See how Tone to DK song was spiking her 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 bum bum in, in in that video as if it's a normal thing. Now, wow. <laughs> I know most people will attack this broadcast, but I don't care. I don't care. I don't give it. I, I don't care. I said what I said. Hmm? Come and beat me. Just look at the immoral ass we've recorded so far amongst children. Some will blame it on the internet, but I blame it largely on Nollywood. They feed us with all manner of rubbish, all in the name of movie. Nakedness and immorality is now the order of the day among the actors. You don't know before. Now, there's a place we are heading to now. <laughs> there's a place. This place. <laughs> this place we are heading to. Oh, my God. Very dangerous place indeed. There is nothing that will stop that angel. You see that angel with that, <laughs> with that trumpet? Nothing will stop that angel from blowing that trumpet on that day. Nothing will stop that angel. We are almost there. And to think is a Nollywood actress that I see in this video I'm about to play. Eh? Is, is, is more disturbing. Watch this video now. That's a Nollywood actress. I will not call her name. You can go and find out the name yourself. Hmm? But let me give you a clue. She's half Nigerian, half Gambian. Go and look for her. That's her in that video. You think it's a joke? It's a matter of three to five years. From now, we'll be there. <laughs> this will finally become the norm. There is no joke about this. We have parents that are bothered, that are not... We have parents that are not bothered about anything. If a 10-year-old girl already know what reverse cowgirl style is, a little boy of 6 years old is drinking beer with the mother in a club. What is there remaining? <laughs> what is remaining is a matter of time. We are fast losing it. And the earlier we tackle this menace, the better for all of us. Hmm? It is finished in my mouth. Let him that have ears, let him hear what the spirit is saying. We need to get it right. 
Okay, this is where I'll be wrapping it up for now. Remember to follow us on all our social media channels showing on your screen right now. Until I see you again, my name is A.D.S. Signing out.